Why is it that just a year into your phone's life, it seems like it can barely hold the charge anymore? It all has to do with the chemical reactions inside the lithium ion battery itself. When looking inside of a battery, you'll notice a couple of different layers sandwiched together. All of these materials form three sections. A negative side where the potential energy is stored, a positive section where the used energy is collected, and an electrolyte polymer that offers a path for important ions to flow between the two. A chemical reaction that occurs between the sections are what give the phone its power. First, by turning on your phone, you open a path for the electrons to flow. Electrons in the anode aren't happy because they're in high energy state, so they move to the cathode in search of a lower energy state. The movement of these electrons is what gives your device energy. But in the process, these electrons have left their lithium atoms behind. These atoms are now positively charged ions that want to get back to their natural, neutral state. So they go on a hunt for their lost electrons, traveling through the electrolyte towards the cathode. But when the lonely ion gets there, it can't find its lost electron. So the cathode is left with a buildup of positive lithium ions and their separated electrons. These ions are what make lithium ion batteries rechargeable. When you apply electricity to the battery, it forces this electron chasing process in reverse. The electrons and ions reunite in the anode, ready to release energy once again. This is described as one full charge cycle. Each time you do this, you wear down the material in the cathode, which means it can't hold as much electrical charge as before. After 400 charge cycles, your battery will lose 20% of its charging capability. This will happen even faster by continually allowing your battery to get to 0%. That's why lithium ion batteries have a shelf life of about two to three years. Also, constantly subjecting your battery to extreme temperatures can significantly reduce your battery life. So, if you want your battery to have the longest life possible, here are a few things you can do.